Oh my god, it's a wizard. He vanished. Watch his eye disappear before your very eyes. So, where do we start the search, eh? You remember how this works, ain't it, Ollie boy? It's all about spotting the similarities. Somewhere around here is someone who's similar to young Esther in some way. Now, the girls... What girls do you know? The girls? Uh, I don't really talk to girls. I mainly talk to Phil. <laughs> I'm not going there. Crikey, well that's no good, is it? Is it? How are we ever going to do this then? Uh, I'm sure there's somebody she reminds me of. Can't quite put your finger on it, is it? Never mind. If brain work doesn't, won't work, leg work will. Let's let's stroll around town and see if you spot Esther's soulmate. That, that way, shall we? Uh, okay, Mr. Drippy, let's go find that girl. <laughs> I'm not really into girls. <laughs> Well, gee, maybe it's where that star is. I might just happen to bump into her where that star is. I don't know if I'll bump into her. <laughs> Reminds me of that blonde girl that's starey Mary. The girl who was overwatching Phil, but Phil and Oliver about to do something bad. Hey, I just thought. What's up, man? You having a nice time thinking about girls, is it? Huh? No, I just... When I used to come to Phil's garage, there was a girl. She was always looking at us from her window. From my window, eh? Sounds like a proper sh sh or shrinking violet? I guess so. That window's up there. Crikey, she looks just like her. Oh, that that's her, Mr. Drippy. Flippin' heck, Ollie boy. Why didn't you think of her straight away? She's a spitting image of her, man. Huh? Of who? Who do you flippin' think, you blockhead? The great sage's daughter, ain't it? The one who obviously is flippin' soulmate, yeah. What the fuck, what do you think? Like, okay, I'm not even gonna... Is it that obvious? I, I never noticed. You sure... You sure have good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She only was in the window for a second. Never underestimate the razor-sharp eyes of a fairy, my boy. Now, sp a spot of dust on the head of a pin I could. Anyway... It's her, anyway, it's her, and no mistake. Let's go and barge Owl away into her bedroom. Uh, okay. <laughs> let's barge our way. Okay, let's just break and enter. Dressed like a friggin'. Dressed in a Halloween costume, wielding magic. Yeah, that, that's. Things are really gonna tide over well. Check this out. I can cast a fireball. Oh shit, fire hazard. Can I just spring lock? Break in! Come on! Hmm? It's no good. There's no answer. Is something the matter, dear? There's nobody home, you know. What? There is someone. Uh, I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Myrtle. Oh, you poor dear. You, you must really be awfully worried about her. Huh? Oh my, you haven't heard? Well... It's between you and I. Things haven't been going so well for Myrtle's, Myrtle's family lately. H how come? Her father works every hour of a single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Such a shame. R Rusty was always such a devoted father. But something's happened to him. He's changed. I hear him shouting at, him th at, at them through the walls. I don't know how p the poor Betty's co how the poor Betty copes, but let young Myrtle, but let let alone young Myrtle. Such a shame. Yeah, I was reading pretty good there for a bit. Betty is. That's right, dear. She's Rusty's wife, and every bit of devoted to him as she always is, or as was. Why, this morning I heard the, her promising to bring his lunch down to him at the garage. All the love she pours into those sandwiches. And the tears, <laughs> amongst other fluids. Okay, I'm, I'm not going there. It's enough to break her heart. I've enough to break your heart. Why am I? Why am well up just welling up just thinking about it? Such a kind soul, poor, poor Betty. I have half a mind to tell that rusty cr what Cartwright, how lucky he is. <laughs> what a weird name, Jeepers. 
Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Do ignore me, dear. Oh, I'm, so, so, I'm just a silly old woman. Say hello to Myrtle for me, won't you? I'm gonna say the exact same sentence I did to the neighbors. Crikey, sounds like the same. Sounds like things are none too rosy at the cartwork household, eh? Mr. Drippy, we can't just leave her, leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle. That's easier said than done, Ollie boy. She's not coming out for a, a chat, and we're getting we're getting in, and we're not getting in unless we go magicking the door open. You're right. We should use magic to open the door. I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go and speak to, and speak to her. All right, let's break and enter. Yeah, I sure you want to be doing this, Mum. When Mom died, I. If you hadn't come and taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone, if you hadn't helped me, I'd still be alone right now. That's why I have to help Myrtle. If we don't, she'll be left staring out the window forever, all alone. That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering in my book. Let's go in. Let's get in there. Okay, Mr. Drippy. All right, let's break in. Fuck yes. My first break and entering with this character, at least. Yeah, breaking the law, baby. Huh? It won't open. Eh? That's proper weird. A rubbish like, like a little lock like that well, should have popped, uh, <laughs> popped undone, easy peasy. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Drippy? I don't fucking know what the hell's up with you. It's the doorman. His evil power protecting it. Your spell didn't fail. It just repelled that by a malevolent force. Uh, what? Repelled? Jeepers! Ugh. Must be the girl, ain't it? She's uh, the soulmate of the sage's daughter, after all. You think? So, what do we do? I'll tell you what, what we don't do. Carry on trying to get in by the front door. Not exactly polite, just barging into people's houses anyway. You're right. I guess we'll have to find some other way. Aww, I'm gonna break in. I want to fucking break in. I figured there'd be some reason. I find it ironic that a malevolent force kept us from breaking and entering. <laughs> what? What was that? That was... P. Hey, may maybe... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's getting cleared. What's going on, Ollie boy? Maybe P knows something. Eh? What the flipping heck is going on? Come on. Open it for me, P. Oliver, you have to go in there. Okay, is it going to be unlocked now? Ugh, she lets me through. It's open. How the flip? Did you do another spell on it or something? No, it, it wasn't me. It was P. And she's gone. Yep. <laughs> this time I didn't even see a little gleam of where she was. Huh? Where'd she... Come on, you haven't established she does this yet? Never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in distress up there, man. Oh shit! Who the fuck are you? Who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I'm LARPing. I've seen you. Harry Potter LARPing. Crap? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside... It hurts. Huh? So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. That sounds fucking sad. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh. Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky. Can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? <laughs> uh, I. I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? Yep. No. Uh, it... I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. You should go before my father comes home. Uh. Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. We've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course, I can tell. Lord so High Lord. Well, 
Whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My mm -hmm. father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... Some proper fucked up shit it is. It's just like you said, Mr. Derby. It's almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. Ain't it tough? <clears throat> Ain't it tough? They could be twin. Ain't it though? They could be twins, man. I knew they were soulmates the moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't broken-hearted. There's something else stopping her from getting better. It must be her parents. Her family is. If that gossip is to be believed, yeah. Sounds like the folks aren't getting all getting on too well. But our family squabbles really the kind of thing we want to be getting mixed up in, Ollie boy. Maybe not, but we have to help Myrtle. The family, family is important. It's everything. Well, since you put it that like that, go on then. Let's help the poor dap out. Next up, Rusty's shop. Let's go, Mrs. Baby. <laughs> Let's save the while. <clears throat> the Majesty of Alma Moon. Broken hearted girl. Do, 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 do. Just straight ahead. Yeah, this is. 